What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. I wanted to give you all a quick update and apologize for not uploading the past few days as I've been very sick and right now I'm on pain medication, that's why I sound so excited like I usually do, so I thought I would make a video and let you all know what's going on. I'm really disappointed that I had to be sick right after release and I can't really keep my promise of daily videos for the next few days. I hope to be healthy and ready to resume on my channel as soon as possible, so that's really my update for you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Overseer's Guardian, which is a sniper rifle with a very unique modifier. It's very, very good. And first we'll look at the location of this weapon, and then we'll look at the various modding options because there are a lot of ways you could go and still have a very powerful weapon. This weapon is located in Vault 81, and it's sold by Alexis Combs, who is kind of the commissary there in Vault 81, and this vault is located due west of Diamond City, kind of around a lake, so you'll kind of have to go to the left side of that and then curve around to Vault 81. It's fairly easy to get to, not too dangerous. I would just go from Diamond City if you haven't discovered anywhere around that area. So in order to get access into Vault 81, in order to get in there, you need to either complete a quest or pass a speech check in order to enter. Fortunately, I was able to pass the speech check, so I don't have to deal with the quest, but the quest is also really simple. The Overseer wants three fusion cores in order to enter. Now, I would say most people probably already have three fusion cores, um, but if you're playing a power armor based character, maybe you don't and you'll have to go buy some fusion cores or find some. They are pretty expensive. So anyways, once you get inside, you're gonna wanna go straight and then down this elevator. And then once you get down the elevator, you're gonna go straight to the right, just to the right, and you'll see the commissary sign. And this is where you'll find Alexis Combs. And so when you go down here, you're gonna wanna bring around 3,500 caps just to be safe. It's a pretty expensive weapon. I've already made a video about how to get caps very quickly. That's the method that I use to actually afford this weapon. I already had a good amount of caps, but just to get myself over the hump, keep in mind the price will be cheaper the higher your charisma. I have max charisma, so it was relatively cheap under 3,000 caps. and It'll be even cheaper if you have cap collector. So once you get this weapon, you will see that the Overseer's Guardian shoots an additional projectile, which is the same thing as the two-shot modifier. So if you find a combat rifle with two shot, that's basically the same thing as Overseer's Guardian. But the beautiful thing about this weapon is it already comes with it and you just have to pay a certain amount of caps for it. With this weapon, it uses 45 caliber rounds by default, which are, eh, they're not too abundant. I've run out of those actually and had to buy some more. But essentially, this damage that you see here is going to be a lot higher if you take the Rifleman perk. If you are a Rifleman based character, maybe you really like perception, this damage could be a lot higher. For example, rank five of Rifleman will give you double damage. You'll see double damage here, which is just crazy. So also keep in mind that this has an automatic receiver on it by default, which lowers the damage. And that kind of gets us into the modding part of this weapon. In terms of modding, my best recommendation is to change the receiver to a single shot. And the reason is, is that maximizes damage. I'm not a huge fan of automatic weapons in this game. You could go with an automatic sniper here, but that will just reduce the, you know, shot by shot damage. And I'm just not a big fan of that. Also, I recommend that you look at the ammo types available for this gun, but you will need rank four of gun nut in order to change those. So here are just some ideas. You could change the caliber to 38 because there is just so much 38 ammo out in the world. It's less damage, but this could be your go-to weapon if you do that. You'll never run out of ammo. This will be the weapon that you use always. If you run a sniper character, you don't even have to worry and you can have a 308 weapon in your back pocket for the maximum amount of damage if you want it. Um, the default 45 caliber has an okay amount of ammo, but I had like 500 or more rounds at one point and that was kind of my go-to weapon and I ran out. So it's not like the 38, it does deal more damage, but you won't have, you know, a ton of ammo like you would with the 38. And of course the maximum damage is the 308 caliber. You can put that on, but ammo is not nearly as abundant and it's really expensive if you want to go and buy it. Of course, if you took Scrounger, this may change your mind. You may want to deviate and, you know, take 308 caliber because, you know, you may have plenty of 308 ammo just lying around. 
My final observations is that this weapon has a ton of potential, especially if you're running a sniper based character or you're taking riflemen. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of potential here, especially with the two shot modifier. Really, any gun that has two shot in the game is going to be very good. That's 100% more damage. So that's, that's just crazy. And so if you take Overseer's Guardian and you run a certain type of character, this could potentially be the most powerful weapon in the game. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are you gonna go and get Overseer's Guardian right now? Is this something you're interested in? Do you have enough caps for it? And what would you rate this weapon, you know, compared to other unique weapons? Is this one of the best in the game that you've seen? Or does this not really cut it for you? And also suggest the next weapon that I will cover in the future. Of course, when I'm feeling better, um, you know, I'll get back on this and show you guys some more unique weapon guides. Share all of that in the comments section below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Overseer's Guardian in Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout 4 on my channel. So stay tuned for daily, of course, when I get back, Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for continued Fallout 4 videos. I'm working on builds. Those will come when I'm feeling better. And of course, more weapon guides and more general tips. All of that will come very soon. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.